In this video, we'll be covering the top five music NFT platforms for musicians. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so let's delve right in. Hi everyone, this is Barry from Music Tech Info. Hope you're doing well. The fifth best music NFT platform is actually OpenSea.io. Now it's not dedicated to music NFTs, but it is the eBay marketplace equivalent of NFTs. Now, what is brilliant about this platform is that you've actually got your own dedicated music section, which I just think is brilliant because you can delve right into there and actually find out the music specific NFTs that are available. You can attach your music NFT onto Ethereum, but there are also Optimism and Bass, BNB and Avalanche and others that you can actually choose when you want to do that. Now, Ethereum is like the most official one that is used for music NFTs, but the gas fees are very expensive on that. So it's something to bear in mind. So it may be that you want to try and go with um, a different blockchain in terms of actually minting your music NFTs. Now, the good thing is, is that you, you've got a variety of different formats. So you can attach an MP4 video. If you want to actually display a video with your music in the background, you can also put on your WAV, your um, MP3 track. You could convert to WAV as well if you wanted to. So it's just something to bear in mind. But it's nice to know that you can have a picture with your music below it or you can have a video with your music as well. Solana is also on this platform now, which is really cool. And if I go further down on the music section, you'll see music spotlight. So these are the curated ones that have been chosen. So these are like the collections. There's also trending in memberships, which is something new. And it goes on to um, some help pages in NFT 101, such as what are music NFTs that you can actually check out. And you've also got different categories. So let's just have a quick look at one of those. So let's have a look at this Hume Genesis one. It's got the blue tick, a bit similar to uh, Twitter X in that it's verified. Shows you how many items there are, when it was created, what the secondary 10% will go back to the creator of any that are sold on the second time, 10% of that. And you've got the, this is on the Ethereum chain. So you can filter it by low to high, high to low, best offer, so many different options. You can change the view if you want to. You can see which ones have offers. And if I just select one of those now to actually delve into one particular music NFT, you'll see that it starts playing the MP4 video right here. I'm not going to put the music on. In fact, I'll cut for a tiny bit. I'm so tired. Of there you go. That's all you're going to get. So, uh, yeah, it's really an amazing way to experiment with your music NFTs to see if it builds any traction to see if people are interested. And you'll just give it a description, you'll, you'll upload the MP4 or WAV file, fill out the, uh, the form, and then you're basically in with no barrier of entry, which is really cool. Okay, so that's number five is OpenSea.io. Now number four is actually gonna be Foundation.app. Now again, this isn't a music NFT dedicated platform, but it is one that is really popular with artists, whether that's art, creators or music, musicians or animators. It's well known as like an official platform for Ethereum NFTs. This is more about having more official NFTs that you want to actually do. But as I say, it is expensive on gas fees, but it is very easy to use. Now, there used to be a huge barrier of entry. You, you'd have to be referred by a creator already on the platform, but that's now gone. So it's definitely worth considering if you've got a bit of an investment and you want to have like a one of one or something like that actually on the platform on foundation. So if we have a quick look, search in here, you've got trending. Again, this is the front page. So it's going to show featured exhibitions, featured works. You can see, and they sell really well on this on this platform foundation. So it is definitely something to bear in mind. I mean, this this considered dialogue has got forty creators available for fifty three NFTs, sold fourteen, and already they've made three point four four ETH, which is which is a large amount of money. Um, if I have a quick look at Cyber Monday, which is actually myself, it's my synth pop synth wave uh, profile on here. You'll see, again, this is about MP4s, about uploading MP4s or art such as JPEGs. So this one sold for 0.1 Ethereum. This was an MP4 that I actually did. And it takes a little while to load this one because it's quite a big file. So as you can see, I've got animation on there and I can scroll down. That sold for 0.1 
Collection on Foundation created by Cyber Monday. So yeah, it's a really good platform worth considering. And something else to bear in mind, when your NFT has sold, they take 5%, which I think is the same, very similar uh, to OpenSea with that. But yeah, this isn't a platform to be able to upload your MP3s or WAVs. You have to actually upload your MP4s, as far as I'm aware. Now, number three is Enter.audio. It's part of the NFT Art Finance token, and it's something that I've covered on this channel for many years. And you've basically got enter.audio, enter.art, enter.blog for information, and enter.market as well, combining collections of different things, such as assets. So enter.audio is dedicated to music NFTs, which is fantastic to see. And it's one of the only platforms that I'm actually aware of where you can upload your entire album in its entirety as one NFT for sale, which is just so cool to, to actually do. Now, there's a, there's a small community on here, but it is a really good community. And they've actually worked really hard on the features of this platform. For example, you've got an artist section, something that isn't on other platforms. You've also got genres. And again, genres, you can tag maybe on OpenSea, you can tag a genre to an N NFT, but it's not as user-friendly as what this is. So any in purple have already actually had um, tracks on them. So you can see one's... It's filled up quite quickly, which is really cool. This has been going a few years. So if I search for synth pop as an example, you'll then see me down here and all of the other synth pop artists that are actually on, on the platform. So if I search Cyber Monday, you'll see you've got playlists on here, which is, again, really rare, rare to see. You've got links. You've got connected accounts. You've got a bio, which is really cool. And then, as I say, you've got albums on here. It's amazing to be able to have all of the albums as an NFT for sale, and then you can say like 20 editions, maybe 100 editions. It's just brilliant. And you can they can buy the album in its entirety if they want to, which I just think is really cool. You've got a little player at the bottom of the screen as well that you can load to actually preview and play these tracks, which is brilliant. If I click on one of these, so you can see at the bottom of the screen, now they use their own token, which is Enter. They also use BNB for Binance and also BSC as well. And as I say, I just think it's a great platform, something definitely worth checking out. For artists that aren't yet approved, they have something what's called a launch pad. So this is where you can become a creator by just clicking on here, and then you'll straight away be able to start minting once you filled out the form and are approved. When you're an official verified artist, then you'll actually go into these sections here. So there is a little barrier of entry, something to bear in mind, but I think it's a great idea. Now, number two on the top five music NFT platforms for musicians. And by the way, please consider subscribing to the channel. I've hit over 3,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for all your help and support. Everybody that's commented, everybody that's liked, it all makes a huge difference. So this next platform is called onlymusics.com. And I've never featured this before on this channel. So this is really exciting for me. Now, I think this is great because this is about using Polygon. And Polygon is, is very cheap on gas. There's no fees to actually mint your music on this platform. You can upload MP3s, you can upload FLAX, and you can upload MP4 videos as well. And for every sale, there's a 5% fee involved. I just love how user-friendly this is, how visual this is. So you've got the popular on what's selling at the moment. You've got the latest NFT, so you'll always appear on the front page when you mint which I just think is amazing for a musician because that's giving you some visibility. That's giving you some exposure. You've got various genre sections like hip hop, electronica, rock, pop. So I just think this is great because you click on what you want and then straight away you can see what's available. It says it's a new platform that allows artists to create and sell exclusive collectible content as NFTs to their fans, which is brilliant. So if I click on an artist, or a profile rather, it tells you how many people are following, how many people they are following, how many creations of NFTs they've made. Now, notice they call them creations because a lot of people aren't keen on the word NFT anymore. Um, you can see what's available. Click on the actual one and you can preview the music. And you can buy it with Matic, which as I say is Polygon. Limited collections, which is great. Gives you lots of information about the license, what you can use it for, even shareholders. Um, and they've got, they've got it in um, 
English and Italian because it's an Italian business. You've got the marketplace. You can even have streaming on here, which I just think is great. Um, so they're doing a video streaming service built on the blockchain, which is really exciting because then that will be decentralized. And a lot of these platforms are not decentralized. So it's, again, it's something great for labels, for artists, for fans. So yeah, make sure you check it out. And finally, the number one music NFT marketplace is Sound.xyz. Now, Sound.xyz has been featured a lot on this on this channel, but it has been updated as things have gone on. They've just recently launched something called Channels, which is the genre, but it's more of a social media group, if you like. Now, on the main screen, you've got your home, again, curated, what's viral, what's selling, what's trending, what's freshly minted. So again, your Music NFTs will appear on the front page for a time, which I just think is brilliant. It shows the top collectors, which is really good because that's providing value to buyers, giving them a bit of exposure. What the recent drops are. Playlists is a really good feature on this platform as well. What's up and coming in terms of the drops where you can get notified of those and you can join as an artist as well. Now, sound used to be a big barrier of entry. I really struggled as an artist to actually get onto this platform and I featured it a lot. But they opened up the floodgates, which needed to happen at some point. So there's very little barrier of entry now, which is, which is brilliant for artists. So if I have a look again on Cyber Monday... So you can see on here, I've got 181 followers, I've done 90 mints, I've got 87 collectors and 13 I've collected myself. So you've got my latest artist pick, which is great on here. Again, you, you just get great web player on the bottom of the screen with various functionality. What my releases are, of which I've got six, what I've collected, of which is 13 music NFTs, as well as being added to various playlists and having my own playlist, which is brilliant. So introducing channels then, if I click on pop, just as an example, there's 256 members with 73 posts. You see, it's a bit like X in a way, but you're able to share music NFTs. It asks that they don't self-promote, it's no spanning, only promote posts about the genre itself. So I just think it's great because people can put in comments, they can repost it, they can share it. And it's, it's a really good social media functionality that's just been added to sound. Now, there is 0% listing fee to actually list your music NFTs on here, and that's with Ethereum. Obviously, you pay gas. There's also Optimism, which is really efficient. Now, Optimism is 10 times cheaper than Ethereum and up to six times faster as well. So it's a brilliant uh, second layer blockchain to consider. And there's also Base as well, uh, which has uh, recently been added. You've got your own personal feed, which I think is really useful, um, and also a public feed. You've got an explore tab where you can look at all various charts and genres that have been created, which I just love. I absolutely love genres. It just really helps me pinpoint what I want to listen to. There's also a huge amount of work done on notifications when you sign up and you can check out your own profile as well. So those are the top five music NFT platforms. Please let me know if there's any that you want me to cover on the channel and I will speak to you on the next one. Take care. Bye.